the Sabres complete the comeback. Stony Creek, your 2023 ESO Cup champions. Two weeks ago, we had the Stony Creek Sabres under 18 girls hockey team on the show before they ventured to Saskatchewan for the national championship called the ESO Cup. We made a deal that if they won that cup, they would come back onto the show. And not only did they win, they didn't lose a game. So happy to have Holly Van Netten, Captain Peyton Anzavino, and tournament MVP, Maddie Burr. Yeah! Congrats. Thank you. <laughs> Was there any doubt? A little bit. Uh, a little, 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 little bit. Yeah, okay, at certain times. Okay, so this is, this is it. What does, what's this like to bring home? It doesn't feel real still. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. It definitely hasn't set in. Well, Peyton, as the captain, you got to got handed this. Yeah, that was first, awesome. right? Yeah. And then did you get to like raise it over your yeah. head and like pass it around to all the <laughs> yeah. all the girls? So I was noticing here, I'm just gonna turn it to because we don't have nothing there yet. We need twenty twenty three right there. So we need that filled in, Stony Creek Sabres. So congratulations. That's uh that's amazing. Um let's get to a couple things. Um, Maddie. You had a pretty good tournament, uh, tournament MVP. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. Can we go through this goal, this game-winning goal <laughs> that you scored uh, in the game? We'll, we'll, we'll show it if anybody hasn't seen it because it's an amazing goal because there was like three people on you yeah. and somehow you fought them off and, and scored. Take us through this goal. Um, I just picked up the puck along the wall, saw the opportunity to go towards the net and just took it and then tried to get a shot off by keeping them off me. and. It I know, but there's, 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 there's like three of them. Like, how did you keep them all <laughs> off you while falling down? No, no. It just, it, like, it was a surprise to me, too. I don't even know how <laughs> yeah. I did well, it. Well, listen, you did it. That's like just such a highlight. Because here's the thing. Like, Holly, this was on national TV. This is on TSN. Did you know that going into the tournament that if you got to the gold medal game or the, the championship game that it was going to be live? Yeah, we tried not to think about it. Though. Right. Yeah. So were you thinking about that, like, throughout the game? That, no. Like, you weren't? No. Okay. Because that's good. That would make us nervous. Make you nervous? Yeah. Were you were you nervous going into it, Peyton? Oh, for sure. I was nervous for all the games. Were you? That game was like... Well, because here's the stressful. thing, too, because then you were you were down. Like, you yeah. were losing 3-1 in, like, going into the third period. Yeah. So, like, what did Coach say? <laughs> he just... He was very positive. Was he... Okay. The two-goal thing. Did... Because, like, you don't want to get, you still have time, you still have 20 minutes, you know you guys are talented, but yeah. to come back from 3-1 down and then end up winning, like, that's pretty, pretty special. Yeah. Okay. Um, did you keep your superstition going of um, tying up your skates, yes. not, not, in yeah. the, not in the dressing room? I think we actually might have a shot of that from, uh, from, <laughs> from Aaron, Aaron Bird. Shout out to Aaron. So is this, oh, is this no. how you did it? So yeah. you, would go on the, you would go on the bench yeah. Yeah. and tie up your skates before every game? Yeah. Well, it worked because you won every game. <laughs> yeah. Okay, what about this coach of yours? What do you have to say about uh, Taylor Abbott? Oh, he, I think he led us there. Yeah? Like, the whole time, like, throughout that whole tournament, he, his coaching was just, like, incredible. Yeah. And it started at the beginning of the season, too, so. Yeah. Should we bring him on? Yeah. Yeah. Coach, get in here. Come here, Coach. <laughs> Congrats, man. Come on. Here. We, we'll, 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 have to, we'll have to share a mic, but, like, what does, uh, like, how, how cool is this for you to, to see the girls uh, win the national championship. Yeah, it was unbelievable. I mean, from day one, that was our goal when we got together as a team was to go to ESO, and um, they achieved it. Right. So overall, like 70 wins in the year after these se after going seven and zero in this. Yeah. Like, did you ever think you could win 70 games in a season? It's a lot of hockey games. A lot right. of hockey games. Okay, so, 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 so what happens now? So where so we at? Are we taking a break? Are we off for a little bit? Yeah, we got a month off, and then we start uh, skill skate once a week uh, for June, July, and a workout. Okay, so is everybody back together for next year, or where, where are we at? Yeah, the majority of the team, we're moving up to uh, U22. Uh, so we have 12 players from the current team moving up. 12, okay, so that's that's going to be a pretty good team. Yeah, good core, good core to start with. <laughs> but there is no ESO Cup for the for the, under, for the under 22s? Nope, just U18. So this is the only opportunity to win the ESO Cup? Correct. Okay, so um, congratulations. Thank you want to you. You, you take the trophy so we can just like have it have it there and we can we can all we can <laughs> we can all applaud you. The uh, 2023 ESO Cup champions, Stony Creek Sabres under 18 girls hockey team. <laughs>